Welcome back, Fight Fans. A few weeks ago, we held our first ever large-scale multiplayer beta test, and we were thrilled to have many of you play the game for the first time. We learned a lot about our multiplayer infrastructure, but also about what you liked and what we could improve about the game moving forward. We've made a post-beta roundtable addressing some of that, and you can actually go ahead and watch it if you like. It'll be linked down in the description box below. Actually, and I haven't seen that. we've made improvements based on the feedback that we've gotten from the community. And we've already implemented gameplay changes based on that, which we will share some details on very soon. In that roundtable, we confirmed the need for a second multiplayer beta test. And today we are announcing that it will run on December the 9th, 10th. All right, so December 9th. What, I mean, what, what day is that? Okay, so December 9th, we're looking at uh, a week from now, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. So the weekend, um, three three p.m. to six p.m. So three hours, three hours each day. All right. Hopefully, hopefully those of us that weren't able to really get enough matches in will be able to get uh, more matches in this time. That's the that's the hope. Three hours. It's not really a, a a lot of time, but I think we'll make it work. Try to make it work. So yeah, keep keep these dates in mind. December 9th through the eleventh. So tenth and eleventh within a limited window of three hours per day. Please make sure to take a look at these times as they are different for everyone. And if your time zone isn't here, please make sure to cross reference these times with your time zone in your area. Now, why is it that we are doing a second beta? Following the matchmaking to, sure. issues that some experienced during the first beta, we've made a number of improvements. It's important to us that the game is in a good place on day one of early access, and hosting a second beta helps us test the multiplayer changes we've made at scale. So what are the key elements that you need to know? Undisputed is not a finished game. There may be bugs, crashes, lag, or a number of things that might impact the experience but not be representative of the final game. For the second beta, we're going to go ahead and give you two venues. Not one, but two. And we're going to give you eight available fighters to choose from. Now strap okay. onto your seats because I'm really excited to tell you who those fighters are. For the Roy women's Jones. division, we will have Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron, Jessica McCaskill. And for the men's division, we will have Alexander Usyk, Deontay Wilder, <laughs> Rocky Marciano, Nigel Benn, and Roy Jones Jr. Anyone with a Steam account and a computer that meets the minimum hardware requirements will be able to sign up for free. And just like the last beta, Anyone who signs up and is able to play the game will be able to record their footage, share their experience, and even live stream the beta. That's so good. how do you sign up? If you've already signed up for the previous beta, you will already have access to the second beta via your Steam library during the times that we've mentioned. Oh, thank for God people for who that. didn't sign up last time, we are registering new signups through Steam itself, and provided the beta goes well, we will slowly... If they give me codes, because the last time I was given a few codes to share with you guys, if they give me codes to, to share, it's going to be the same exact process that I used the last time on, on Twitter, where I'm going to let you guys know in like an hour or so, I'm going to post all the codes, and it's going to be fir first come, first serve. So hopefully they send some, some codes my way that I can share with you guys, and it's, again, going to be the same exact process. First come, first serve. We expand to include those new signups as well. Head on over to our Steam page and hit the request access button. Steam will send you an email if you get given access to the beta, at which point you'll be able to download the beta build of the game and play, providing it's within the time blocks we've outlined above. We look forward to seeing everyone get their hands on the game again, and we're especially looking forward to the feedback provided the new wider range of fighters and the new improvements that we made to the game. 
we've set up a dedicated forum space on Steam so we can speak to you directly and better track your feedback to make Undisputed the best it can be. If you have any questions or you're looking for any additional information, head on over to the thread that we've set up on Steam. We'll aim to reply to any of your questions as soon as we can. Once again, we thank you for being part of this community and we can't wait to see you in that second beta. Until next time. Thanks, Edward. Out. All right. So there you have it. We are getting a second multiplayer beta. And um, I'm personally really looking forward to it. Like I said, the first, the first time um, I really wasn't able to get into the game. I did try. I tried multiple times. But, you know, server issues, which it's definitely to be expected. Um, but this beta, of course, uh, crashes, bugs, uh, weird stuff that will not be in the game when the game finally drops is definitely to be expected. But I'm hoping that as we, as they release this this next one, that a few key things would have been improved. Right? I'm not expecting that we're going to see any improvements whatsoever to some of the animations. I think that requires a lot more work. Um, a lot of it will probably require more motion capture. I mean, a lot of it probably just has to do with the engine that they're using to build the game. Um, so I don't expect to see a drastic change in the fluidity of punches. I don't expect to see that. Um, but I'm hoping that we can see some of the other uh, issues that, that, that we brought up, like the, the lack of stopping power on some of the shots. I'm hoping that was improved a little bit. Um, I'm hoping to see just overall power improved a little bit as well, especially because, well, we've got some power punches in this one, bro. Um, I mean, Deontay Wilder is going to be available for us to use in, in the, in the next undisputed beta. And, uh, when you say the name Deontay Wilder, one thing comes to mind immediately, and that is power. That's the first thing that comes to mind. And so... It's 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 also like when you when you say the name Mike Tyson, right? One thing immediately comes to mind. That's brain shattering power. And uh, when you're known for being powerful, you know, your 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 character in the game better represent that. Of course, I'm not saying that Deontay Wilder in the game should be able to just hit people once and knock them out cold. That's not what I'm saying whatsoever. Um, I just I'm hoping I'm hoping that as I'm playing the beta using Deontay Wilder or watching matches of Deontay Wilder, I am hoping and praying that everybody has respect for the man. That everybody has respect for him when they're fighting. Like if you feel comfortable trading with Deontay Wilder in Undisputed, then something's wrong. I would hope that everyone that enters into the ring against a Deontay Wilder player, the moment they start fighting, they are instantly reminded that they have to box this guy. They cannot stand in front of him, go and rock him, sock him, robot, because he's going to win that every single time. I'm hoping that's the case. Um, I'm hoping that toe-to-toe -to -toe, toe -to -toe boxing in Undisputed is more representative of what happens in real life where it's, it's actually dangerous. There's a, a legit danger in there where you're just forced to respect that, you know, where defense becomes very important. Um, I'm also hoping that something was done in regards to the ranges. Um, we talked about that before, that it doesn't appear that the game has specific set ranges. Like we talked about close boxing range, um, boxing range, um, just out of range to where stepping in puts you right into boxing range. And then way out of range. These are some of the, the different ranges that you see boxers operate in. Um, I'm hoping that that was implemented. But again, that to me also seems like a lot of work. And I don't think there's been enough time to implement that. Overall, I'm just, I I'm going to be happy. I'll be satisfied if I, if I see an uptick in, in damage. I'll be very satisfied. Because... What ha what's going to happen is the uptick in damage is going to encourage everyone to, to box. It's going to encourage everyone to approach, to approach these, this beta in a more aesthetically pleasing way, which is going to lead to just overall better gameplay, better looking gameplay. Um, it's just it's when you have two 
fighters in the middle of the ring just smacking each other over and over again. There's barely any stopping power. There's there's hit reactions right there, but there is no rocks. There's no stumbles. There's no stuns. There's no critical rocks. There are no KOs happening. Um, that's when you know. That's when the game starts to look a little bit ugly. I'm also hoping that something was also done about stamina, just to prevent um, those long, long, long drawn out combinations where it feels like you can just go on forever and not really have your stamina affected. I'm also hoping that being low on stamina um, has more grave consequences. These just, I'm just reiterating a few things that we talked about when, when we first kind of uh, broke down the, the, the first beta. Just, you know, being low on stamina should, should have more grave consequences so that it will encourage players in general to not let their stamina get too low. So again, just going into this beta, I'm I'm really hoping and looking forward to um slightly more polished game. Um a, a game with uh our feedback uh implemented. And I think that's just gonna make for a better experience. And of course, I'm I'm really, really keeping my fingers crossed that they figured out exactly what happened with the with players on with with the inability of players to to actually get in and play the beta. I mean, you you do want us to be able to play as many matches as possible. So hopefully they figured out exactly what happened. And in the second time, we can all immediately get into a fight and not have to spend hours and hours and hours just trying to get into a fight. So hopefully that one's been taken care of as well. But uh, overall, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm definitely excited. Um, looking forward to it. Very excited to, to use Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> um very excited to use Roy Jones. Very, very excited to use him. Also, very excited to uh, to test out um, the uh, the Bronze Bomber. Right, that's his that's his nickname, Deontay Wilder. Definitely looking forward to testing him out, and uh, hopefully we can create we can create some magic. All right, so that's gonna be it. Thank you so much to Undisputed for listening to the community. I mean, thank you to Steel City Interactive for listening to the community, um, Edward. For presenting this in the way that you that you do really great great work there and uh let's just let's hope for the best okay let's hope for the best all right boys thank you for watching it means a lot if you enjoyed the video leave a like and i will see you guys later as always stay safe have a good night